This is a clean NeoVim install. It may look unappealing now, but NeoVim is very extensible. You get a blank slate to make an editor that's perfect for you. You can make it look however you want, you add only the features that you want, and features you don't need will not be eating up your system resources. However, managing extensions works a bit differently than it does in other editors you might be familiar with. First of all, NeoVim doesn't have a plugin manager, you get to choose one. In this video we'll look at the most popular one which is Packer. Before installing it, I will first need to create my NeoVim configuration folder. On Linux, NeoVim expects it to be under .config and Vim in your home folder. If you look in the video description, you'll find a link to the GitHub README for Packer. There you can copy the installation command. Now go to your NeoVim configuration file. These instructions get executed every time you start NeoVim. We'll tell to import Packer and run its startup function. That function takes a callback function as a parameter, in which you can specify which plugins you'd like to use. See, that's the thing about managing Vim plugins and NeoVim plugins as well. You don't install plugins from a UI like you would in VS Code. Instead, you declare that you want to use them in your configuration file so that you can easily copy your preferences to another machine. If you're not intimately familiar with Lua syntax, these use statements may look a bit strange to you. They're actually just function calls. These three lines over here do the same thing. To apply your configuration change, write and quit. When you get back into NeoVim, you should now be able to use the packer sync command. This command will process your package list, install any missing packages, update installed packages, and offer to clean up files from packages that are no longer in your config file. It looks like Packer itself is still up to date. Now let's install a plugin. There is no centralized app store that you can browse, but there are lists of good NeoVim plugins out there. Plugins are typically hosted on GitHub, and their readmes will tell you how to install them. You generally tell Packer to use the package, and then do some additional configuration according to the plugin instructions. In this case, Nightfox is a color scheme, so I'm just telling NeoVim to switch color schemes on startup. Now reload the config to make Packer aware of your new plugin. Don't panic if you see this warning. NeoVim's trying to load the new color scheme, but it's not installed yet. You can install the missing package using Packer Sync. Now reload your configuration again, and there you go. To remove a plugin, delete it from your config file, reload it, and then run Packer Sync to clean up the leftovers. It'll give you a confirmation prompt before it removes anything. So that's how you manage plugins with Packer. If there's a NeoVim feature or plugin you'd like to see explained here, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more videos like this. From me to you, it's Colin Q.